Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 25th day of August 2022. And our topic for today is Prayers of Thanksgiving. Let us pray. Our Father and our God in heaven, we worship and we bless your name. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for protecting us, guiding us, shielding us. We thank you for gathering us before you one more time to come and seek your face and to raise incense of thanksgiving again to you. We ask that as we come together today before you with one heart, you would receive our offering of thanksgiving. Let it come before you as a sweet smell, trusting that whatever is left would also receive perfection in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm chapter 116 verse 17. Psalm 116 verse 17 reads, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. Psalm 116 verse 17. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of Psalm 124 from verse 1 to 8. Psalm 124 verse 1 to 8 reads, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 124 verse 1 to 8. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Once more today we are having prayers of thanksgiving. It is important that we always come before him in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is an application for more. It also ushers us into the very presence of God. No wonder the psalmist says in Psalm 100 verse 4, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. As we offer thanksgiving to him today, expect a shift. Expect to step into his gates and his courts. Expect to step into his presence where all things are possible. We are therefore admonished to please take these prayers of thanksgiving seriously, pray them as they are called out, and we would see the God of wonders give us even more reasons for thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We'll start with our first prayer point for today which says, Thank you Lord for your goodness and mercy over me and my family, nuclear and extended. I am very grateful to you Lord. Make that your prayer. Our Father, we are grateful for our families, both nuclear and extended, uncles, aunties, nephews, nieces, those who are close by and those far away. We thank you for as many who are around us and even for the so many who are scattered all over the world. We thank you for counting us among those blessed with families. Thank you for keeping them. We thank you for sustaining them. We thank you for the news of your faithfulness in their lives. Be exalted, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Next, we are saying thank you, Lord, for your protection in the midst of all the challenges and insecurity in all the nations of the world. Pray and say thank you. Lord, we are grateful for how you have kept us. You have shielded and protected us. You have kept us in the hollow of your hands. You have been our rock. You have been our defense. We are hidden in you where protection is guaranteed. We thank you for keeping us in our going out and in our coming in. We thank you for not making us have encounters with evil. Thank you for your hedge of protection round about us. Thank you for not making the eyes of evil ones see us. Indeed, this could only be you. We are grateful we say be exalted. Receive our thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are praying we say thank you Lord for always being by my side. Thank you for answering me whenever I call you. I am grateful, Lord. Raise your thanksgiving to him. Father, we give you praise. We say we are grateful for always heeding to our call, for answering us whenever we beckon. You have never left us stranded. You have always proven yourself in our lives. 
if it were not for you on our side, the enemy would have dealt mercilessly with us. It is because you have been on our side that we have not suffered shame, we have not suffered reproach, we have not suffered lack and want. We are grateful and we return all praise and thanks to you. You are truly deserving and worthy of all our thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we are saying thank you, Lord, for the troubles I have experienced in the past. Thank you for the grace to survive today. I am still standing. I give you glory, Lord. Make that your prayer. Our Father, we are grateful for all that we have passed through, for being right there beside us. If it were not for you, we would have been consumed. Situations and circumstances would have swallowed us up. But through it all, you made us come out as champions. We came out strong and better. We thank you for the grace to survive today. And we are still standing here because you made ways for us. Receive all the thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Next, we will be saying, Father, thank you for not allowing internal enemies to destroy me. Thank you, Lord, for healing me now and again and protecting me from diseases and sicknesses. Prayers of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Father, we are grateful for how you have shielded us, you have protected us. Of a truth, we have experienced exemption from sicknesses and illnesses. We have experienced exemption from wasters, wasters of resources. You have shielded us from the enemy that seeks to destroy. What can we offer unto you but our praise and our thanks? In a time when the world is suffering from various kinds of strange illnesses, you still kept us. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we are praying. We would say, Thank you, Lord, for watching me even when I am sleeping. You neither sleep nor slumber so that I can sleep. I am grateful, Lord. Raise your prayer of thanksgiving unto him. Our Father, we are grateful for how you have kept us even while we sleep. You are our God who never sleeps nor slumbers. Our stories would have been different if you took just a minute break. Thank you for remaining faithful. Thank you for your watchful eyes that are over us. Thank you for not letting the enemy have his way. Thank you for your angels that have been giving charge over us. Receive all our thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next would be saying, Lord Jesus, I want to say thank you specially for dying for my sins. If not for the sacrifices you made for me at Calvary, I would have been heading to hell now. Thank you for leaving your throne and coming to earth to save my soul. Prayers of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Our Father, we are grateful for the great sacrifice. Thank you for leaving the comfort of heaven to come to this earth to suffer for my sins. Thank you for loving me so much that you could not watch me perish. You came to rescue me and also liberate me from the shackles of sin and death. You gave me victory over the enemy. You died for me even while I was in my sins. I am grateful. Receive all my thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Next, we are saying, Father, thank you for revealing to me all the good prophecies that have been said concerning me in the past so that I can walk in line with your will for my life. I appreciate the name of the Lord. Father, we are grateful for the prophecies you have revealed to us through your word and even through your servants. Thank you for making us know that we have a godly heritage. Thank you for giving to us a hope and a future. Thank you for giving to us an expected end. Thank you for desiring that we prosper all round. Thank you for your countless promises and prophecies over our lives, many of which are already manifesting. We cannot deny that you are a good father. We cannot deny that you are faithful. We cannot deny that we see your amazing works in our lives. Father, we ask that you continue to receive all the praise and adoration. Receive our thanks today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we'll be saying thank you, Lord, for all the help you have rendered to me in the past. Lord, I am grateful. You can begin to recollect some of those times when God helped you and thank him for them. Our Father, we are grateful for how you have kept us through all seasons of our lives. Thank you for all the times you rendered help to us, even when help seemed to be far away when all hopes seemed to be lost. You never failed us. You always came true. Thank you for the times when you pulled us from tight situations. Thank you for the times of healings. Thank you for the times of provisions. Thank you for the times of good and pleasant surprises. Thank you for the times of encouragement. Thank you for the times when it was only you by our side. We are grateful. Receive all the thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we would pray. We would say thank you, Lord. For all your blessings in my life, I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Our Father, we say thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for the numerous blessings. We have lost count. It is evident that you have been a good, good father. Without doubt, you have been so gracious to us. 
Thank you for the blessings that money cannot buy. Thank you for the blessings that come from you. Your blessings that come into our lives and transform us. Your blessings that add no sorrow. 10,000 tongues will not be enough to say thank you. Yet we are grateful. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We are also praying would say, Father, thank you for forgiving all my sins. If you were to count iniquity, I would not be able to stand before you. However, in your mercy, you always forgive me when I call on you. Thank you, Lord, for that loving mercy. Thank him in Jesus' name, our Father, we are grateful for where you rescued us from. Thank you for not giving up on us. Thank you for not marking on faithfulness. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Your mercy found us just as we are. Thank you for loving us regardless of our inadequacies. Thank you for your constant work upon our lives, transforming us daily to be more like you. Receive all our thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we'll be bringing our personal prayers of thanksgiving before the Lord. We know those places that he has done us good. We know those places that he has proven himself faithful in our lives. Begin to appreciate his name. Father, we are grateful for how you have kept and sustained us. Thank you for both merited and unmerited favor. Thank you for the doors you've opened. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for provisions. Thank you for your kindness towards us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for all the things that you do for us that we can never, never repay. We are grateful our Father. We say receive all our thanks. We can go on and on and never exhaust all that we have to be thankful for. Lord, we are grateful. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I would like us to also appreciate the name of the Lord for the recently concluded convention and also the 70th anniversary of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Thank Him for perfect jubilee. God has been faithful. Thank Him for all the lives He touched, for all the souls saved. Father, we bless Your name and we say receive all our thanks. Also appreciate God for the gift of our Father in the Lord, for the strength given to pull through all these events. Appreciate God for all the ministers used, for all the workers, and for all that made it possible in one way or the other. Father, we are grateful for this grand success. Receive all our thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Dear Father, we want to just say thank you again. We can never get tired of saying it because you are truly deserving for your faithfulness and goodness in our lives, for the wonders you do continuously. We are grateful. Receive our thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Jeremiah chapter 9 down to chapter 12. Hallelujah. We want to thank you and appreciate you today again for joining us today in Thanksgiving. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 80 986 11226. As you go for today, may praise and thanksgiving unto the Lord never depart from your mouth. Our hymn for today is the hymn 15 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Now thank we all our God. Have a great day ahead. God bless you. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Bye for now. Thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things has done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. Oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace 
and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills in this world and the next. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.